Before we jump in though, let's introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Opera GX. Hello. Opera GX is the world's first browser tailor-made for us gamers, including a ton of naughty features. Let me just show you how they operate. Opera? Operate? Anyone? That was shocking. You can connect your Twitch account and Discord to the sidebar, allowing for quick access to some of your most frequently used applications. Just look how easy it is for me to watch one of my favourite streamers. <laughs> You can also connect your Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp right there as well. You can also stay up to date with the latest free games in the GX Corner, getting access to the newest releases and news all in one centralised location. Customise the browser's appearance with themes, colours and even your own wallpapers to personalise it exactly to your liking. I've gone for the Hackerman theme for that clean Matrix look. As you can see, Opera has many tricks up its sleeve. Matrix? Many tricks? <laughs> that was clean. No it wasn't! One of the main benefits though is GX Control, allowing you to limit the RAM the browser can use and the CPU usage, helping with the performance of the games you're currently playing. You can also limit the bandwidth used via the network limiter to gain performance in games and also streams. This feature for me is a personal favourite as I have had a lot of problems with browsers like Google Chrome absolutely munching away at my memory. Pac-Man style. It also has a four start pages setting which can be enabled to save your eyes from all of that glare. Opera GX is completely free so make sure to give it a whirl and click that download button in the description below. Hello everybody, my name's Jensen and welcome to Old School RuneScape Challenges episode number 156. First of all, if you like the challenges, you like the videos, drop a subscribe. Also make sure you like and check Dave's video out on his channel. That was the Money Smuggle Challenge we did. Unbelievable video, absolute classic. Make sure you check that out. Jumping into the rules for this one, this is the North versus South challenge. This is a remake of a previous challenge we've done, which was the East versus West. This was about a year ago. Rules are going to be on the screen right now. We have split the map into two sections, the North of Gillenor and the South of Gillenor. We have four hours to start from complete scratch, and the aim is to gear as best as possible for a final fight. We're going to be doing a wheel spin to decide who is on which side of Gillenor, either north or south, and you will be restricted to that area for the four hours. We cannot use the Grand Exchange. Also, Zaya is off limits. The purpose is to fight to the death with our gear setups we get in the four hours, and the loser will also receive a forfeit. Any questions, Dave? No, I've nailed that, to be honest, Jim. Right, Dave, I've got the wheel up, which have, has north and south on it. Do, do you want it? Do you want this spin? Uh, yeah, I'll have the spin. Right, so this is for your side of the map. You will take... Boom, the north side. I will take the south. I'll see you in four hours. Right, lads, we are kicking off this video in RD. Uh, we're just going to steal a couple of cakes here just for a little bit of food. Obviously, in this type of challenge where we're having to buy gear from shops, we can't use the GE. Cash is king, boys and girls. The plan is get a few pit pockets of these RD nights done, uh, make a little bit of starter cash, nothing too crazy. Uh, and I'm really just going to focus on making money to start off this video. I've not even thought about what kind of gear I can go for. For now, the main thing is get the money, boys. Get the moolah in. I've legitimately just done 23 pit pockets in a row. I am a king at this shit. Oh, 11k on the dot. Boom. That's enough money for now. Just going to grab some more cakes. The plan is I'm going to teleport over to um, the Nightmare Zone with the minigame teleport. Um, use that and go into the Magic Guild and get ourselves some runes. That way we can get around the game a little bit easier. Oh, is that a Gutha? Right, just use the home teleport. The plan is, I think, we're going to head over to the Agility Pyramid. Uh, if you don't know, you can get the little pyramid uh, totem thing and trade that in for 10k GP, and that is repeatable. So we're going to do a couple of them. That's going to get our cash stack up. Whilst I do that, I'm going to start planning and plotting because um, I think I've actually got it quite easy with my with this side. I definitely think I've got the best side. I've got Barrows there if I want to do it. That would be something which we do towards the end once, once we've got a bit of gear set up. Fortunately, in Nardar's a shop which sells rune legs. I don't know if they've got dragon daggers in, but I swear they do. We've got loads of places to buy the stuff. The issue is making the cash. We've also got Apatol for the dragon scimitar. What combat are you, Jensen? Oh, 126. That's, uh, that's pretty good. 
What's that? You've just completed an easy task in the desert. Air- Ignore that. I'm, 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 I'm basically maxed. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my perspective of the video. If we open up my map, I'll show you what I'm doing. Ladies and gentlemen, north of the map. We've made a little note here. So this is my side on the map. We got some sharks, which is going to be our food. Potions, I haven't even thought about potions, what am I? Uh, climbing boots there, potentially. Hello, we can't, I don't think I can get a DDS. So, uh, we've gone for the uh, the dragon mace there. Dragon defender, could get that, probably won't. Dragon boots, could get them, probably won't. That kind of looks like boobs, actually, hold on. Boots, Bo that, really even, that looks even more like boobs now. Um, hello. We got ourselves a whip here. Probably won't end up getting that, lads, I'm going to be honest. Because I'm thinking, Jenna stitched me up. How am I going to kill Abyssal Demons when I can't even get a Dragon Skimitar? Talk to this guy. And this is how we're going to get some money. Sword. We're going to go get our 33 runes and hope for the fucking best. I like, the one thing Jenna's done, actually, he's done me quite nicely here. Uh, he's given me the Grand Exchange. Just a shame we can't fucking use it. Come on, give me some runes that are actually worth something, mate. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. <laughs> I can't be asked. How much did you buy these for? You're buying for <laughs> Oh my god. Right, we just got ourselves 99 thieving. Boom, 3k. We're going to buy ourselves a nice little fire staff. Zaf staff. Lovely. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. I have gauntlet. I've got gauntlet. I thought this was the gauntlet. Oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. It's alright, we know it's nine minutes and it's fine. Right, so I've got some mind-numbing content for you now, of me running around the pyramid. There's only one thing that that means. Yes, we're gonna do pyramid jokes, alright, fucking hell. Why did the desert pyramid win an argument against me? Because it had a point. <laughs> gonna point you at the top, lads, you know what I mean? Why is it hard to read hieroglyphics in pyramids? Because they're encrypted. They're in a crypt, boys! You know what I mean? All right, there's our second little pyramid top. I mean, this is actually going a lot faster than I thought it would, to be fair. To be fair, row. Fair, row. Fair, rows. Desert. Please subscribe, I'm begging you. Please subscribe. Getting head from a mummy. Call that. <laughs> Right, yeah, I'm probably just going to stop with the puns now anyway. I should probably try a different angle. Try. Angle. Pyramid. Try. Angle. B right, lovely job. That is 11 pyramid tops. There we go. 112k total. The plan now is, lads, I'm going to somehow work out how I can get some bananas. Uh, and I'm going to teleport to Apatol and grab ourselves a dragon scimitar with the coins. Go on, give us a blade. Give us the blade. Imagine going in a fight with that blade, man. Go on, here we go. Chest. Yeah, yeah. Alks, alks, alks. Go on, good loot. Hello. A rune chain. Did they sell? Are they money? Oh, I've got a new personal best, boys. Go on. Give us the blade of sale, door. Go on. Oh, rune plate. Chaos runes. Is that it? We're going to do one more, lads, and then uh, we're going to try and get ourselves a whip, I think. Boom. Get shagged. I am the shagger. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, rip, room, room plate legs. Hey up, 69k as well. You know what, boys? On that note, 176k cash. Um, let's go get wet. I do have a strength on me as well. Glander, do you have a ruby? You're a legend. Right, we're gonna teleport ourselves to the blast furnace. Um, we're gonna go buy some gold ore from here if they sell it. Now the only question is, where do we get a mold from? So, conveniently, the shop locations are Jamila, who's on Jen's side, Dominic, who's on Jen's side, and Remington, who's on Jen's side. Therefore, we need to kill barbarians at a 1 in 1 to 8 drop rate. Thanks, Jen. Right, so I've made my way to Shiloh Village, talking to my guy, Doradel. I'm going to buy one of these face masks. Now, uh, 
The plan is, I'm basically going to be going to Dust Devils with my Dragon Skimitar, which I'm going to go get now. The whole point being that Dust Devils drop a lot of nice Alka Balls. They drop the Mystic, the Earth, um, Mystic Staffs, the Battle Staffs, easy 30k to 10k Alks. Also got Dragon Daggers, which I can use in the fight, and also Alks. That's going to be a really good source of money at this point. I'm literally not even an hour in yet, so if I camp these for a little bit, I'm going to get so much good money from it. And there is the Scimitar. Oh, I am looking mean, mate. Right, Dusties, want plenty of Alcables here. Plenty of big fucking drops, please. <laughs> First kill. First, that's going to be sick for the fight, boys and girls. I don't even have to say, if I get any more as well, I can help them. That is the first Dust Devil kill. Tell me who does it better than Vitoso himself. Tell me who's coming out here killing Dust Devils and getting Dragon Daggers on the first kill. Another good thing to know is that these are also really good for herbs. So if I get some Renars, I can sort out towards the end of the video, making some uh, prayer potions, super attack, super strength, things like that. So that's all going to come into play as well. Lovely. Hey, Renar Weed. That is one prayer potion for the J-Man. The um... <sighs> J-Man, fuck me. Right, we've got quite a nice amount of alcohols now. I'm just going to alk these off, see how much money we get. Beautiful. 80, just over 80k, so that's nice. I'm thinking about saving these Chaos Runes as drops. So I can go to Barrows with them because that is just about in the south zone. So, uh, again, I'm just going to keep killing these, getting some good uh, money. So we can buy some more gear, and we could even head to Barrows. No, what, should we get a shark soiree? Might as well get a shark soiree, then we've at least got the food sorted. <laughs> Roachy, harpoon please, mate. You're a fucking fishing shop and you don't sell harpoons. That's like going to a boatyard and there's fucking cars. You know what I mean? That's like going to a football match and they're playing tennis. That's like picking up a, a toy wand and thinking you can cast spells. What the fuck am I on about? I'm stopping this shit now. Sig Sigfield. Keep a legend, because that is me. Fucking legend. <sighs> I want a Clark gem with a dragon mace. I don't even want to deny it, boys. I mean, that's 200k. This is like, what, 50 fucking dragon mace, lads. I'm not even arsed. Imagine Jen's face when I smack him at 50 with this. Right, we're going to go buy some climbing boots. I can't appear to uh, get myself any gloves. So, well done, Jen. You've got your gloves, so I'm having the amulet. Fuck off. We're going to buy ourselves some climbing boots, and then we're going to make ourselves a strength amulet, which I do need cosmic runes for, so I need to go back to Prif, Dave. <laughs> uh, and from there, we need a ball of wool. And I actually think Abyssal Demons drop balls of wool. Tenzing, 12 GP. Sounds good, mate. Jen can't get these, so very nice. Let's get this amulet mold. One in one, two, eight. Might as well, while we're here, eh? <laughs> Fucking hell, finally. We got it. Amulet. Yoink. I now need a ball of wool. Shearing the sheep, sheepy get sheared. Boom, boom, boom. I'm little strength, boys. Now, we just need to go get ourselves a neat, and then we can hit stuff. We are ready to hit stuff. We need to go ahead and get ourselves a harpoon, and to do that, we need to kill some Dagonoffs, because they're the only thing that drop it in the uh, the northern, northern area. Um, with that being said, we're going to catch about 40 sharks, and then I th honestly think we just go for the whip. Right, whilst I've tallied back, I'm going to grab some rune gloves down the trap door. I may upgrade to barrows eventually, it just depends how much money I can make. Like, I'm looking around, lads, and there really aren't any good money makers in the south. Like, there's barrows, but I just don't have the gear, gear for it at the minute. Uh, there's just... Dave's got the Slayer Tower... He's got Gauntlet. He's got basically all the good money makers, which can make you the quick quick cash to be able to buy items that easily. Whereas I'm just fucking stuck in the mud at the minute. It's bullshit. I am so fed up with this desert. I've spent the whole fucking video in this desert. Sand, sand, sand. <laughs> I'm actually buying shock ices. Can you actually believe it? Got to crush them all. It's got to catch them all, Wesley. Sort it out, son. I think I'm the first person in this game to eat a shock ice. I genuinely think I am. Right, let's run over to my guy, Sedu. What are we selling there? I can go for this skirt... Is it the same price? Skirt's cheaper. 
I'm buying a skirt, and I'm buying a rune chain body, which leaves me with 24k left. But look at them upgrades, though. Jeez, I'm looking dangerous, mate. Look at him, he's about five years old. Fucking Zahir in there's got him making potions for him. What? Uh, this is slave labor. This is this is child export. This is child export. This is child exploitation. I can't say the fucking. W <laughs> yes, I am eating a dessert in the desert. <laughs> I don't understand, right? I've I've literally had one one battle staff, and I've killed so many of these. I've done like this is my third trip. This is exactly how the battle royale went down. Me and Dave came here as part of our strategy, and in the practice run, we, we made so much money, and it came to the actual thing, and we were just making absolutely nothing. Like, it's just fucking bullshit RNG. Dave's laughing over there with Gauntlet, and he's probably killing gargoyles, getting rune 2 H's left, right, and center, and here's me getting fucking soul runes. Hey, there's a dragon dagger, and there's a rune dagger as well. This is gonna be a big boy elk. This is, yes, please. That's nice. I don't actually know how much that was, but it was a decent chunk. I think it was like 30, 20, 30k. Also, the rune dagger. Right, we're looking up now. This is good. This is good. Right, we've got a Ugthanki kebab drop. I just realized these actually heal 19 boys. And this is one of our strategies in the Battle Royale as well, because they're sick food, mate. So, And the best part about them, boys, it's the yum. It's the fat yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, I'm saving these kebabs. I cannot wait to see Dave's face when I hit a fat yum in the middle of the fight. He's going to piss himself. <laughs> Right, I am out of Chock Ices, unfortunately. In that case, I'm now going to head over to the Nightmare Zone Teleport. I'm going to run to the Druids in the little um, underground little cave thing there. Uh, hopefully pick ourselves up an Irrit Leaf and a Quirm, and then that's all we need from there. I'll make the potions, and then I'm hoping we can then move on to Barrows once we've got the rest of our invent sorted out. I dread to think about killing... Uh... Anything else with this dragon mace? Cause uh, it's it's uh, um, it's not very good. It's slow and it doesn't really hit. You know when you look at the map and you don't realise that there's a uh, there's a fishing store in Catherby and uh, I actually do have access to Catherby. Um, I'm just looking at the map and the big shark that I drew is covering it, which hindered my vision. fishing for about eight minutes and I don't even have a full invent yet for every one of these I burn I lose two minutes <laughs> that is the reality you know what I'll take that I burnt the first one that was it in we go lads in we go we are not messing about anymore we are not messing about anymore Dave are you seriously gonna kill absolute demons for another one hour 15 minutes so you probably get about nine kills because you're bopping them on the head with the dragon mace the answer to that question is no. No, I'm not. I'm gonna, I've thought about this, and I know what I'm going to do. I need to get myself an axe. Where do you get axes from? Lumbridge. Can I go Lumbridge? No. So what I'm going to do, Gunthor the Brave, I'm going to go over here. He's not going to give me Mamlet Mold. He's going to give me an axe. Probably should have picked this up earlier, but I didn't think, so I wasn't going to do this. I've got to get an axe. I've got to cut a magic tree. I've got to get, make a magic short bow. Dave, where are you going to get the arrows? <laughs> One hour of LMS. Hear me out. I think the rune arrow is like three points. I can do that. Easy. 300 arrows. Iron axe. Check. Bowstring. <laughs> Check. Time to cut a tree to... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we do have the wilderness. So we are going to clan walls and we're going to do some LMS. Fuck. It's alright. Warm up game. I'm warm now. I'm warm as fuck. Dave is on fire. I think I've got my two points there. Go on, give us something good. A fucking infernal cape and that. Yeah, I'll have them both. Rather quick on the old switches, aren't you, mate? I'm not convinced. Oh, well, there I go. Justine, I know you quite well, actually. Uh, you're going to sell me 300 rune arrows. Like, does this give any stats? I like that. Um, I might go get myself some black D-eyed. I think that'll be good get black di top and bottom the only problem is where do i tan him i don't think this gives any stats but we're using it oh it does give stats it gives worse stats than this but it makes me a lot more intimidating
Right, been here five seconds. There's the erit. Just give me the quirm now, mate. Give me the quirm. The quirm! Not the snake, but the quirm! Right, I've literally not even... I've not even been here a minute yet, and I've already got the, the herbs I need. I'm going to stay here slightly longer um, in the hopes of getting a few Renards. That way, one, we keep them for the fight. Two, I can waste a few when I try and do a few Barrows trips. So that's the plan. That's an absolute beautiful sight to see. Whilst we're in Yanel, we're going to pick up a Staff of Air. We've got a load of cast runes from Dust Devils, so we can just use Firebolt at Barrows. <laughs> I know, but when we get Death Runes as a, as a reward from the chest, we can then switch over, but it, it, it'll do for now. I got a haircut behind the crafting guild once. I guess you could call that a Trimmington. <laughs> Right, that's all our potions made. Super attack, super strength, four prayer potions now. So we're just kind of prepping our way to Barrows. I'm going to nip over to Karamja next, I think, get some food. I also need to upgrade some bits of gear. I need a helmet, uh, ideally a shield as well. There's one in of Karambrams. I'm going to get some more as well just for when we go to Barrows. For now, though, I'm just going to quickly go and grab ourselves some upgrades. And there's a room full helm. That's a nice little upgrade. Um, I think I'm going to head to Barrows now with what I've got. I've only got 60k cash left. I could do with a shield, but um, I'm going to see what the results are from Barrows if we make any more money. And we can decide right at the end if we want to make any more final upgrades before... Oh my god, I look mean, mate. I'm here for two Renars and a Dwarf. And maybe, maybe a Quirm. <laughs> <sighs> that's weird I, pff, fuck it <laughs> uh, we got the quim we got the quim the quims are in here the quims are in here i've just got to make them now and I'm, I'm like sorted for the fight like i've done well to get these to be honest you know for a one in 5.8 drop rate i can't seem to get this limp root fucking finally i've actually got the limp root that mate how many how many have i just killed 20 20 with three went three times drop rate with potions are done, we got 16 minutes to spare. You need 80 agility to tackle this obstacle. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm not a fucking virgin. One black dragon, dead. I actually think I'm going to leave the black DI chaps because I, I kind of need all the defense I can get. So we're going to gonna just leave it on that dragon now. We're just going to leave it right there. Hello, brothers and sisters. I am here to tan hides. Fidelio. Thread. Needle. Black DI body. And with that, we are done. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is the gear that we have gone for. We've got 70k. We're actually 29k short of a skill cape. Probably could have got it if I uh, managed my time a bit better. Maybe didn't kill some abyssal demons, but uh, we don't talk about that. Uh, four hour time limit is done. If I just quickly show you what we have, best gear we possibly could have got, in my opinion. Max Combat, Fire Bolting Guthans. I'm using a, quite a lot of prayer, so I might have to get some more prayer potions as well. I might have to upgrade her death runes because this this bloody Fire Bolt is not cutting it. Right, chest time, ladies and gents. Come on. That is tight. That, that is... <laughs> right, we're heading back to Druids to hopefully get a few more Renar weeds for some more prayer potions. I mean, this Barrow strategy is so risky, but it's going to pay off if we get something good. It really fucking is. It's worth doing, in my opinion. Right, we've got ourselves at three Renar weeds with the three vials of water. Before we get the Snape grass, then I'm just gonna do something a little bit cheeky here. Right, I've just spoken to the King Bolrin. We've got ourselves a gnome amulet, which is probably the best amulet we can get, really, without actually having to make anything. It's got good stats, and the best thing is Dave can't get it because it's in the southern side of Gillinor. Cool, blimey, mate. Southern. It's a southern one. Cool, blimey. Jeez. Come on, this is the one. Come on, reward me. Please. No. Right, come on. This is probably second to last chest, and then I'm going to have to yeet. Oh, it's just, ah, it's just not what I want. Right, this is going to be the last chest, which we can open. Please bless me. Bless me. Oh, f***. Right, lads. I've just sold all my runes. I was hoping to just about get enough for Barrow's Gloves, but I'm literally like 3k short because I've not done the diary, which is a big fucking L. I don't have the time. I have like two minutes. Um, so I'm going to head over to Lumbridge now and buy myself a defense cape, a skill cape. It gives me nine defensive bonus um, in all the relevant defensive stats. So I think that's the best I can do. It, pretty disappointing, but um, yeah. 
Right, we've got a minute left, and I was about to say I've not got a shield, but um, uh, anti-dragon shield, hello. As I was saying, lads, we are now done. I was about to say we can't get a shield because there's literally no shield chops. That's a tongue twister, shield chops. There's no shield chops on the southern side of a runescape, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I could have tried to hunt one from a drop, but I wanted to focus barrows because I think if we got a barrows piece, it would have put us in good steed, lads, for the fight. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a pretty nice, decent setup. Unfortunately, we couldn't have the money to be able to splash out on the barrows gloves, but we've got Ugthanki kebabs. They heal 19 each, and, the, and you hit a fat yum as well. Uh, paired with the Karan Wams, we've got two bread potions, super attack and strength. We are good to go. Right, me and Dave have met. Well, we're going to meet outside of Clan Wars. We've not seen each other's gear. So, uh, the first time we'll see each other. First time we see each other, we're going to go at it. We're going to get married. What? I'm potted. I'm ready. <laughs> what are you... What is your... Galerial amulet, man. What's that cape? It's intimidation cape, mate. This ain't good, is it? Oh, hello. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Hello. <laughs> My name's Jed and I can get a D-skin. My name's David, and I've got... <laughs> Can't be careful, then. you got to be careful there, David. you got to be very careful, because Jen's got fat yums coming out left, right, and centre. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable scene. I'm actually fighting a man that's yumming, man. Blood 19 food. Oh, come on. It's got to be better. Not, it's got to be better. That there. I should have ate. I don't know why. I, I, I was 47 HP there. Look at his eats. He's getting in here, man. Oh, this is fucking shit. Yeah, that's not good, lad. That's not good for you. This is fucking bullshit. The, the, the D skin makes all the fucking difference, man. You could have got so many different weapons. What? Go on. What? <laughs> Go on. What? What could I have got? I don't know. I've not really studied your side, lad, to be honest. He's dead. He's he's a goner. He's literally dead already. You mad? Where you off here, pal? Right. So you're lowering the bandits on me now, are you? <laughs> what? Fucking D skin. Oh, look at me. I can get a D skin. Wins you the fucking game. You had gauntlets. So don't even fucking talk to me about any stuff like that. You wanted me to milk the gauntlet for four hours. I'm not fucking bored. I'm not saying milk it. I'm just saying like you could have got some usable items from there. I did. The room plate and room fucking legs, Jen. Did you miss them? <laughs> did you not fucking see them when you twatched me 30s? <laughs> right, gang, since I won the video. First of all, Dave, how did you find it? How was your side? I thought you had a massive advantage because you had the, the gauntlet and all that. Did it, yeah. Well, the thing is, Jen, I'm not boring like you, so I'm not going to rinse the same stuff over and over, so I, I spiced it up a bit. Uh, you had the gloves and you had the dragon skin, and I think that's what won you the, the battle, so fuck off and do a forfeit. <laughs> what me and Dave are going to do, we're going to whack a message in the cc asking the lads in the cc the tansy cc boys get in it uh, we're going to ask them for a forfeit suggestion the first one we see which is an actual forfeit not a fucking stupid suggestion we will do for david we're both going to send the same message therefore the cc guys don't know who's won so you ready to do it, dave don't call me david ever again sorry <laughs> <laughs> right you ready three two one go right lads so Someone has suggested a Tanzu roast. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Discord, me and Dave. We're going to drag people in one by one, and they're going to take turns roasting the fuck out of Dave. I'm going to love it. Yeah, I'm going to sit there like the good little boy I am. <laughs> More roasting a Sunday. One line to roast Dave. When you're ready. It took me a long yeah. time to get that talisman from the dig site quest. But even longer to find your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, your forehead is so big, even the gnome gliders have space enough to make it their landing spot. <laughs> Alright, yeah. <laughs> You'll prove that God has a sense of humor. <laughs> Tanzu, my man, I'm genuinely surprised you complained about having a framed into a vest on you last video. Thought you'd be used to taking on two dudes. <laughs> oh, God. He's done you there. <laughs> What does Tanzu's hairline and Pluto have in common? They both can't be fucking reached. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone straight for the neck. The only reason Dave wanted to win the Golden Gnome was to finally not be the shortest person in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, that was good, that was good. Thank you very much for watching this video of all Screamers Get Challenges. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and also check out Dave's channel for various challenges and other great content. 
great content. See you in a bit.